so hello friends in this video i am going to talk about the lattice mismatch or heterostructures of monolayers so reason uh, for uh, taking this topic is that i have like created three heterostructures so and those heterostructures are based on the monolayers of a different system and so we have used vista here so i am just using in pen just to highlight everything so vista i have used vista because vista is a very powerful tool uh, for solid state people and we will define lattice mismatch and those who have not watched my videos how i have created heterostructures of monolayer they have to watch the videos to just understand what we are talking about so let me just move to my another slide so what is actually a lattice mismatch so lattice mismatch is uh, like whenever you trying to create an heterostructure between two different uh, system so their lattice constant will always not be the same so in this case suppose we are taking hpn so lattice constant is this and here for graphene the lattice constant is this now suppose we have created an heterostructure between those two system like this there is a like suppose if you try to see these layers and these layers are not exactly like the atom if you just go from there to there they will be like some uh, some distance and some like they will not be exactly elongated along this direction suppose if you add these something in these a uh, number and you try to just overlap this so you will see these atoms will not overlap so that is uh, that is actually the problem the problem is uh, not at or atom overlapping the problem is their lattice constant is different so as this system is having a higher lattice constant and suppose if you trying to uh, create an heterostructure or you just putting the coordinates of graphene to monolayer because it's a it is smaller in size it will try to it will try to expand and if you do the if you do the vice versa suppose you are pasting the coordinates of mono layer of hbn into the mono layer of graphene it will try to shrink so what will be the ideal heterostructures of mono layer or how much percentage of lattice mismatch they can tolerate so you can calculate it by just taking the difference between the structure you are taking as a reference and then you are pasting so here i am doing calculation based on this so suppose if i just paste it there and i will just uh, if i pasting it here and i will just creating an heterostructure so we have to just take these coordinates we have to paste this and then we have to just write carbon here and then we have to write two and you will see uh, you and then you have to just uh, paste those coordinates that is that is what the thing that is we have to do that i have already shown in my videos so uh, lattice mismatch is around 1.9% so this lattice ma ma lattice mismatch is kind of okay uh, if you try to do the computational studies on this heterostructure you will find it they are like stable the system will expand and they will be like you can able to do the calculation so let's let me take another case another case let me take a case of molybdenum sulfide and this is actually a mono layer of mos2 so, so sorry my writing is not very good and i am just using my single hand to hold the mic and uh, so you have to bear with me with these things but actual concept you will get very easily so this is selenium this is two and uh, yes this is two so just for sake we are taking now if you try to create a mono layer between graphene and this and if you just paste because i am i will always prefer that the lattice constant in which the case is uh, lattice constant is bigger we will try to just paste it and then if you try to paste it now if you just see the difference 3.32 minus 2.46 divided by the uh, the system we are pasting it is 3.32 and actually it is not uh it is actually 100 is not below it is just let me just correct it so that everybody can understand okay 
and so we will discard it everything and we will just I will just do one modification as it is like 100 is not there 100 is here only so 100 is actually multi it is in multiplication so I will just make it very clear that it is there it is in multiplication same thing we can do it here and so reason is like it is it is in percentage so percentage should be not in multiplication it should be in division so let me just paste it there so it is it will not make a very big difference but yes I will tr always try to uh, correct myself and so in the next I can also do because I have like copy pasted this file so it will create some problem so this is a very good from this we can understand very very important thing and like copy pasting is not good it is not again because error magnify if you have error in one slide so you will have error in another slide so it's called error magnification so those who have not watched my error precision video or they please also they can also watch error videos uh, it will be very good so again so like so if we multiply by 100 and definitely we will end up with 1.9 percent if we do with molar blade name and graphene graph graphene case or you are pasting coordinates of graphene graphene in mono layer of molybladenum disulfide you will end up with a 25 percent lattice mass mismatch it's a very big number if you try to do the calculation you will end up with a very absurd result and maybe the heterostructure you have created with mono layers it will not be stable so you can see now in the next slide if you take the example of gallium nitride and titanium uh, sn ti3sn um, so this plus this lattice mismatch is now approaching to 45 percent so can we do something about it we can do something about it in vista this is called creating a root integer or root square roots root cells they are actually root cells and you can create it in a vista people just know that you can always create a system with multiples with the like integral multiples like 2 is to 2 is to 2 or 2 is to 2 is to 1 you can create a cell with root 28 numbers or with root, root 28 or they end up with like root 28 so you can always find it so that is actually a part of the next video and I will not make a presentation I will just show you in the Vista itself how you can do it so here because I am trying to make you understand what is lattice mismatch so I have tried to make the video so so now you can see as the like as we are like making heterostructures of a different system there are lattice mismatches so lattice mismatches should be taken care and the way of taking care i will it is a part of my next video so please stay tuned i will take the each and every system the three system basically and, and i will try to resolve this lattice mismatch or i will try to create a system with they when they did where there is a lattice mismatch which is less than two percent if it is less than two percent it will definitely going to work so thank you very much for watching my videos the kind of content i am creating it is not available everywhere you can find it somewhere might be possible you can find it but let me tell you one thing it is a paid work which i am sharing i have wasted my money in learning this thing so i would not say it's a waste of money as i have like purchase things and then I have learned it so you I am just sharing it for free hope you like it and you will able to learn something from my videos please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and also support my work by um, sharing it with your colleagues